This is the crawl space under my house. It's where plumbing lines, heater ducts, and drains all run, so it's good to look at things every once in a while. However, it only has 20 inches of clearance, so one has to belly scoot, not crawl, to get around. It's all exposed dirt with lots of concrete rubble. I hate going down there. Plus, you never know what you're going to run into when you're scooting around there. Anyway, I decided to build a Crawl Space Crawler, a remote control vehicle with a transmitting camera. I know there are such systems for sale, but they cost thousands of dollars. This cost about $600 to build in 2020. I originally wanted something with tank tracks, but I couldn't find anything that looked robust. I also wanted lots of torque, not speed. I finally found a low profile chassis, motor, and wheel kit at servocity.com. It has a tough plastic and metal chassis, four direct drive planetary DC motors, and four large knobby tread tires. Servo City now calls this kit the Recon. When I ordered it, the standard motors were 300 RPM, but I had them substitute to 60 RPM, giving me five times the torque. The motors are controlled by a RoboClaw 2X7A motor speed controller, set to differential or tank mode. There is no steering mechanism, so steering is done by running the left wheels slower or faster than the right wheels. It can turn in place if the left wheels are going forward and the right ones are in reverse. That's good for getting out of tight spots. The remote control elements of the crawler are handled by a FlySky FSI6X transmitter and a 10-channel FSIA-10B receiver. I'm currently using seven channels for driving, camera aiming, and power switching. The camera slash transmitters are Esheen TX05 from Banggood. The band and power are selectable and the matching receiver simply plugs in as a USB camera on my desk computer. It automatically tunes to the channel that the camera is set to. The front camera is mounted on a pan tilt unit controlled by two servos that are moved by the second joystick of the RC transmitter. The rear camera is mounted on a single servo so it can only pan left and right. It's controlled by one of the small variable knobs on the transmitter. The backup camera is mainly there for backing out of tight locations. I originally wanted to use LED landscape floodlights for lighting, but they produced a bright spot of light in the field of view and left the rest of the field in relative darkness. I ended up using a 12 inch LED light bar with a plastic diffuser that illuminates everything very uniformly. With the light bar, the crawler needs about 6 inches of clearance. I used two RC switches to turn on and off the LED light bar and also to switch power between front and rear cameras. The cameras run on 5 volts, so I needed a 12 volt to 5 volt DC converter. The system is powered by a 12 volt, 3 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. I can run little over an hour between charges. I installed a volt amp meter that can be read by the front camera. When the battery voltage gets near 11 volts, I know it's time to head back to the hatch. The system draws 2 to 3 amps at full speed. The system can go just about anywhere in the crawl space unless the headspace gets too low. 
Mounted on the front of the chassis are a pair of cable tie feelers. If I see the feelers touch anything, I back away before the crawler gets stuck. Once I had to rescue the crawler after it had gotten tangled in some old telephone wire. I'm very careful now if it has to roll across any wire or cable. The camera signal is transmitted to my desk computer and I can capture still shots or video using the Windows camera program while I drive the crawler with the RC unit. I also use the crawler in my attic after I put down a path of plywood strips over the attic insulation. The crawler has a pair of lift rings on it so I can lower it into the hatch opening using a rope and hooks rather than having to lean and reach. Once it's down there, it's easy to drive around and look about. I'll give you a quick tour. By the way, the skull seen earlier in the video is made of clay, crafted by my brother many years ago. It's not a real human skull. It's just for fun and for Halloween. Thanks for watching.